Hello everyone, my name is Violet and today I have a confession to make. of you that follow my channel, this is something you already know about me, but in this video I thought I would take some time to show you a couple of the things that I use for sound effects, and I know that that was kind of what I did in my mic test video, but these are new things that I've acquired, and I've been using them for my soundscapes, so I wanted to go ahead and show you a couple of those things. This is going to be interesting. My recording room is very messy. So. So. Shiny fabric. So I'll um, walk around and make some sounds with it for you. something and then you would have no video to watch and I am sure that would make you very sad it would make me sad too like I've said I have a special shots 
things keep happening that, you know, I don't like. My dog was in here for a while and um, he was snoring, <laughs> so I had to redo that. He is um, asleep on his special bed in my room now, so I think he'll be okay. And what I normally do with this is I lay it on a flat surface and I have a heavy glass ball that I call the panda ball because it has pandas painted on it. And I take that videos yet, but it will be featured in my upcoming fire soundscape, and don't worry guys, I am thinking that that one will, um, you know, include some whispering, and um, maybe if I can get it to look right, um, even my face, I'm still experimenting with it, and it's not going well, but we will see. So, I think that's that for this one. And I have a couple other purses here. So why don't I go ahead and show you that right now. So, Here is the second fabulous item. It is what I like to call the shell purse. I know. I have the most creative names for things. But you can see. what it is. It's, um, it has a consistency, almost like paper. And there are these wooden handles that I'm trying not to click together too much. Sounds like there's something in this as well. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh no. This is the hoarding problem I was talking about. It looks like this purse is full of tinsel. Sometimes when I'm doing videos, it'll just strike me out of the blue how, um, how weird some of this is, and I just have to laugh. <laughs> but, yeah. I have a shell purse full of tinsel. And, I am sure, um, some garbage. A little piece of cellophane. And he set that down there. I have the cellophane for making crinkly noises.
when it comes to ASMR things, I just can't bear to throw anything out because I always think, what if I want to use it again? What if this is the perfect piece of cellophane? makes a sound unlike any other. What would I do if I threw it away? How heartbroken would I be? So, that's why this stuff gets um, put into uh, ugly purses that I keep in my ASMR closet and never And I haven't really, um, I haven't really done much experimenting with this one yet. I got caught up recording sounds for the fire video and the crispy soundscape video. And I didn't use this in either of them. So we'll see. We'll see what it's going to be used for. this thing. It's just a cheap plastic clutch. But I love the these props at Goodwill and um, I just stood 
in the store for the longest time. This is a beaded placemat. fun hiding behind these objects. Every time I show one to you, I, I always have the tendency to just put it over my face and hide behind it. I don't know. As usual, <laughs> it is late. Do you think? Do you think it's pretty too? I'm not sure I would uh, use it as a placemat.
something I don't like looking at, but that makes tremendous sounds, in my opinion. And that would be this hideous boot that I told you about. Um, it's awful. I don't know why anybody would want to buy this unless you are an ASMR artist because it's fun to squish. another one of those items that I just uh, stood and listened to for a long time. And bending it a little bit now. Now, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it. These will never be worn. They aren't, uh, they aren't even my size, but I picked the one that um, I thought would make the most uh, interesting sound. Here we are. The infamous panda ball. This just gets rolled around. You can also see um, it has a hole in it. It's hollow inside. It used to be mounted on a base, um, but 
but it was broken even in the store. But I bought it, of course. Um, and it was making, a, there was some sound resonating in there. And I didn't want it to, so I patched it with a piece of duct tape. Maybe it will be used in the future by a misguided fortune teller. I don't want to give anything away, but she'll probably only see pandas in your future. Which, I don't know, could be a good or a bad thing. I think I spotted uh, another one of the fortune teller's tools. Let's see. I found these. This is a deck of fortune, or um, a deck of tarot cards to tell your fortune. Let's see, they're kind of a mess. This could be something that uh, is in the possession of the misguided fortune teller. Maybe he'll meet her soon and she will see what the cards have in store for This is one of the major suit cards. I don't know anything about tarot, by the way. I just bought them because I thought um, I could make a video with them. Maybe that would be a fun video. We'll see. I'm going to work on doing the fire soundscape and um, the whisper track for the crispy soundscape first. And I also just wanted to say that uh, if you guys have any uh, you know, constructive criticism to say, um, 
I would love to hear it. I, uh, right now I'm just kind of experimenting with things and seeing what happens. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, so if you could, um, you know, if you know of any ways I could improve, don't hesitate to tell me. I would be more than happy to learn. It is a paper umbrella. Let me try to open it without making too much noise. It's a bit of a challenge. So here the paper crinkling a bit as well. a little less creaky than this, but it's in my bedroom right now, so I won't be going after it. Okay. This is um, just a styrofoam ball, but it uh, makes some nice popping sounds when you squeeze it.
and this was used in the fire soundscape, which is mostly done. I just have to record the video for it. Another thing I have. I'm gonna try to not make too much noise. It's um, this little sandstone block, or I think it's probably plaster. But there's a humorous and silly, but maybe it'll make some, make some good sounds, I don't know. I try very hard not to make noise, but I don't always succeed. instruction manual. Age is eight and up. I think, uh, I think I'll be able to handle it though. These are mostly glass noisemakers that I made one weekend. This one is a really thick picture frame. And I just wrapped it in duct tape. And then destroyed it. But makes these great sounds. Okay. 
as you can hear it makes a bit of a different sound are still somewhat intact. Here is a noise maker with larger pieces.
not sure if I like the sounds or not. Kind of similar. But it has lots of grit. Small broken pieces. And uh, glass dust in it. will actually do anything as far as triggering ASMR, but couldn't hurt to try. And if you guys don't like them, I won't use them again. This one actually looks like it's going to need some repairs, so I better set it down. Maker is this leather wallet full of cornstarch. I actually I did sew it shut, but there was uh, I didn't do a very good job. So there were a couple places where the cornstarch was coming out and just making a huge mess. It's also very old, so the corner was pretty worn too.
As usual, everyone, feel free to comment and tell me what you liked and what you didn't like. And I will get around to making new videos with those sounds for you as soon as possible. I really hope that you found a few of these triggers relaxing. And if not, um, I won't do another video with them. So, I hope that you had a good time. I had a good time with you too. And I will see you soon.